The first minutes, the dinosaurs died out. Around 66 million years ago, a global disaster struck that made Earth to lose its dinosaurs. Researchers have struggled hard to explain the source of the great rock that struck the Earth, but still, they have not succeeded. The impact resulted into high heat levels that made it difficult for living things to survive. What really happened during that time? Are there chances that the rock will strike Earth again? Join me today in this video as we discuss more on the catastrophe that almost took away life on Earth. What happened? A huge comet fell onto Earth during the last days of the Mesozoic era. Its diameter ranged from 11 to 80 kilometers and its radius from 7 to 50 miles. From the analysis of its size, we can all conclude that it was something big and it had the potential of causing great destruction. The comet struck Earth and left behind a huge crater. The crater had a depth of 12 kilometers and a diameter of 50 kilometers. This was the first time in history when Earth was in a collision with an asteroid. The collision gave rise to tsunami. The tsunamis were 300 meters high. The impact destroyed water in oceans. The destruction of water in oceans resulted to the experience of huge water waves in the oceans. This process lasted for a whole 10 hours. However, if the rate at which the asteroid struck was huge that is, it could have been something worse. The tsunamis could have been taller than this. The explosion that came from the asteroid was 100 million powerful more than anything else on Earth. Forests were destroyed within a blink of an eye. Indeed, this was a big loss experienced on Earth. Scientists believe that the great impact was enough to cause great destruction. It resulted to 12 earthquakes and great landslides on Earth. This process, in return, caused tsunamis. If we were all present during these times, it could have been hard for us to survive. The destruction did not only stop at this. The energy accompanying the asteroid came with the heat that could set fire on Earth. The fire could spread on a landscape for 1,500 kilometers. This became a difficult moment even for the huge dinosaurs to survive. This does not mean that the ones that were destroyed by heat and fire are the only ones that died. Even the ones that remained untouched by heat and fire were dried up by the wave. Small rock particles were thrown up into the sky. After the particles are thrown up into the air, they usually fall back. A good reason as to why geologists are able to locate them on Earth several years later. The trace particles are like glass. They have a kinetic energy of 20 million which is later transformed into heat. They transformed Earth into a warm atmosphere. Then Earth became a conducive environment that could support life. The majority of dinosaurs and other living things found themselves in the affected area. Being that they had earlier on survived the earthquake and tsunami, it was hard for them. Hours later, they died out of the intense heat that was within. Later, the forests that were present caught fire and 75% of the organisms in the forest faced great destruction. Even the mammals whose weight was 25 kilograms died. Acid rain was witnessed due to its action on the oceans. Plant species that were present on Earth vanished within a short time. Emitted dust from the falling of the asteroid and sooth from fire combined. This combination blocked the sun rays from reaching Earth. This lasted for a year. As we all know, light is an important factor for any living thing. This means lack of light can result to the death of many things. Even those plants that survived the heat, fire, and earthquake died in the process. Water ecosystems were destroyed. Small destruction of water ecosystems gave crocodiles a chance to survive. During these times, surviving was a difficult task. But this does not mean that life stopped here. Life on Earth went on. Big animals had died in huge numbers. But the ones that remained started repopulating. The first animal to exist in large numbers again was the foraminifera. These were the single-celled organisms that appeared in the crater years later after the explosion. The ferns also repopulated in huge numbers and were all over within a short time. They filled almost every place that was destroyed during the impact. Food shortage triggered the existence of huge mammals. But for the small animals, they were able to survive, as they could pass through the ferns to obtain something. A few flowering plants and nutritious seeds were present on Earth. After a hundred thousand years, the mammals took their original weight. The ferns were also replaced by new plants. This was a new chapter for all living things on Earth. Two hundred thousand years later, peak and pie period replaced the palm period. More nutritious food was now present on Earth. This became a great benefit to mammals. Their species multiplied three times. 
the largest mammal species was at 25 kilograms. This weight is equal to that of a gazelle. This was a unique recognition in the mammal family. As the plants evolved, the mammals also did not lag behind. After a long period of struggle, many years later, beans came into existence. The presence of beans was a great benefit to mammals as they increased in their size. The species diversity of mammals also increased. By this time, the mammals were weighing 50 kilograms. This made the ancient mammals too heavier than the mammals that existed earlier in the day. All the things happening have taken millions of years. Oceans took their time to be in their original state. Scientists have discovered that it took them 3 million years for the flowers of organic materials to be in their normal state. New species occupy the space that was left during destruction. Birds were part of the surviving dinosaurs. Lizards also survived the catastrophe but in small numbers. The ability of the lizards to dive into the water to find shelter helped them to survive. Different adaptations in birds made it easier for them to survive on Earth. Life on Earth was now normal at this time. Evolution is the one that led to the existence of human life on Earth. If it happened that the asteroid did not strike, humans could have not been in existence. What could happen if the catastrophe struck again? Now that we all know what took place several years back, we can conclude that humans of the current world cannot survive the disaster. With the intense heat and fire, outbreak life will be a tough game for both plants and animals. Even if this is the case, Earth will still recover from the disaster and life will go on. Through the help of fossils, scientists have been able to know more about what took place years back. The bones of lizards and mammals have helped scientists to discover the age when dinosaurs ended. But this was not an easy task, as it may seem, but a difficult one as it took more time. If we face a disaster again, people cannot survive. Vegetation and living things will be destroyed in great percentages. We hope that it will not happen again for the sake of our life safety. Where did the rock come from? Supercomputers have been involved in studying asteroid evolution. This is possible through the use of data coming from the known asteroids. However, scientists disclosed that the asteroid originated from a hot cloud. It was pushed by the gravitational force from Jupiter. This push brought it to close the sun, where it broke down into several pieces. This gives us a nice prediction of being hit by another rock, but are not sure when it will happen. Asteroid 4660 Nereus moved past Earth at a speed of 6.5 kilometers per second. This was confirmed by NASA in December 2021. The movement of the asteroid is close to Earth. However, astronomers have said that this rock will be on Earth in 2060. The challenge with us is we don't know how to prevent the asteroid from attacking us. NASA is focused to see if their spacecraft will be able to attack the rock in their while on its way to Earth. The spacecraft is set to be here by November 2022, when the Didymos will be 11 kilometers from Earth. If NASA's spacecraft succeeds in colliding with the rock, it will be a great achievement. It will take safe more life for both animals and plants. We already have a clue of what will took place. We now know that surviving the catastrophic period will be tough for the current humans and living things. Intense heat and fire will be a barrier to the survival of many living things. If it happens that the rock strikes again, it will be a tough journey for the earth to be in its normal state. Because vegetation will be destroyed, animals and human life will also be destroyed. If we find a way of preventing the rock from hitting again, then we will be more thankful. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe so that you'll be updated on any latest news about planet Earth.